and I will heal the land. You have to make a decision today because of power and forgiveness. You ask yourself, you want your marriage to work. And that is the reason. One of the solutions of making your marriage work is to forgive. and opinions expressed in this program are solely those of the original authors and their contributors. These views and opinions do not in any way represent those of MyTV, MyTV staff and or any contributors to MyTV. Whatever problem, financial problem, or maybe sickness of any kind, because miracles do happen. Thank you for accepting our week one challenge on Psalms 91. We've enjoyed compiling these videos so that others may be blessed to step up and know the word. Stay tuned, keep watching till the end of this episode to hear the next challenge for week two. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare and from the fuller and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stops in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at no day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand may your right but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, yes, and strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the land and the adder, the lion, the young lion, and the serpent you will trample under foot, because he holds fast to me in love. I will deliver him, I will protect him, because he knows me. When he comes to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. Long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. He who dwell in the shelter of the Most High shall abide by the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God with whom my trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of the floor and of the dead, deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stuck in darkness, nor the destruction that twist in noonday. A thousand may fall at a certain thousand at a right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord the dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plot come near your tent, for He will command His angels concerning you to guide you in all ways. 
and then hence they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You will trample underfoot because he holds fast to me in love. I will deliver him, I will honor him, I will protect him because he knows my name. When he comes to me, I will I will be I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will rescue him, I will honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16. May you hear such a place as the celebrated and the said of the Almighty. And say to my Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and my trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fall and from the deadly pestilence. For He will cover you with pinions and dreams, self and refuge. Christmas will be a shield and buffer. You shall be not afraid of the terror night, nor of the air that fly by you, nor of the pestilence that is in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste in me. A thousand may fall on the right side, ten thousand fall on the right hand, but it will not come near you. Only with the eyes shall you see and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge even the most high in the dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any flood come near your door. For they shall give his angel charge over you to keep you in all your ways. And they shall bear you up on left and dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion, and the shepherd and trample on the foot. <coughs> he has set his love upon me. I will deliver him. I will set him high because he has known my name. He will call me and I will answer him. I will leave him in trouble. I will honor him with long life and satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms chapter 91 Those who live in the shelter of the Most will find rest in the shadow. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will shelter you with his feathers. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the error that flies in the day. Do not dread the diseases stuck in darkness. Though a thousand fall at my side, though a ten thousand die around me, this evil will not touch me. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are parted. If you make the monster, if you make the Lord your refuge, no evil. No evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home, for he will for he will order his angel to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you will even hurt your foot on a stone. You will travel upon lions and cobras under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me, I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer, I will be with them in trouble and give them my salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampant. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will tread for the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. 
I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And I give back the glory to God. Praise the Lord, Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be a shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand on your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For the Lord will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Then they will lift you up with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample on the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will protect, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon my name and I will answer him. I will be there with him in trouble. I will, I will deliver him and honor him. Will, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. God bless you all. Psalms 91, 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High shall find rest in the shed of the Almighty. They said the glove of the Lord. He alone is my refuge and my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting in him. He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the fate will plague you. He will shield you with his wings and shelter you with his feathers. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor drag the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Twelve thousand fall by your side, ten thousand dying around you. This evil will not touch you, but you'll see it with your own eyes and see how the wicked punish. Make the Lord a refuge, make the most high a shelter. No evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your dwelling. For he orders his angels to guide you and protect you wherever you go. They will hold you with their hands thick to keep you from striking your foot on a stone. You will trample down lions and poisonous snakes, crush their fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I'll rescue those who love me, I'll protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I'll answer, I'll be with them in troubles. I'll rescue them in honor them, satisfy them with a long life and give them my salvation. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Surely you will, uh, you, you shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys that red day. A thousand will fall by your side, ten thousand on your right hand will not come near you. you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high of your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you and no harm will disaster no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you upon their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the rock. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will tread upon the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will I will be with him in trouble. I will never forsake him and I will always honor him. Amen. God bless you all. I give us the glory to God. Psalms 91, 1-16 For those who live in the shelter of the Most High shall find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare of the Lord, for he alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I'm trusting in him. For he will rescue you from every traps and protect you from the fate of you. He will shield you with his wings and he will shelter you with his feathers. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor drag the disaster that 
much flexibility. So a thousand four by your side, ten thousand are going around you. This evil will not touch you, but you'll see it with your own eyes. You'll see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your dwelling. For he orders his angels to guide you and protect you wherever you go. They will hold you with their hands to keep you from striking your foot on the stone. You'll trample down lions and poisonous snakes. You'll crush down fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I'll rescue those who love me. I'll protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I'll answer. I'll be with them in troubles. I'll rescue them and honor them. I'll satisfy them with a long life and give them my salvation. Yimaka. He who dwells in the south of the most high will rest in the side of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foul snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your seal and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will tremble the great lion and the shepherd. Because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. One more time. I don't know what you came for tonight. I don't know why you came here today. I don't know what I came for. Jesus is my comfort. In Him, the fullness of joy. I came here to dance. I came here to pray, I came here to sing, and I came here to dance, I came here to dance, I came here to pray, I came here to sing, and I came here to
place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked. Because he has made the Lord, who is my refuge, 
even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. The word of God says, whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of Almighty, you can say to him that you are my defender and my protector. You are my God and you are my trust. He keeps you safe from all hidden danger and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings and you will be safe in his care. His faithfulness protect and defend you. You need not fear any danger at night or sudden attack during the day, or the place that strike in the dark, or the evil that kills in daylight. A thousand will fall dead beside you, ten thousand all around you, but you will not be harmed. You look and see how the wicked are punished. You made the Lord a defender and most high protector. And so no disaster will strike you, no violence will come near your home. God will put his angels in charge of you wherever you go. They will hold you up from hurting your feet on the stone. You will trouble down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me, and I will acknowledge those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call unto me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will rule them with long life. I will save them. Praise the Lord. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 16. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadows of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, nor the plagues that destroy at midday. A thousand will fall by your side, ten thousand near your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. I, if you say that the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high in your dwelling, no harm will come near you and no disaster will come near my tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. He, they will lift you up with their hands so that you may not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and on the cobra. You will trample on the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will protect you, I will rescue you, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. God bless you all. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, You are my defender and my protector. You are my God in you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings and you will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers during the night for sudden attack in the day. A plug that strikes in the dark or evil that kills in the daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you. 10,000 all are rich, but you will not be hurt. You have made the Lord your defender and the most high your protector. And so on, and so no disaster will strike you. No disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God has put his angels in charge to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to protect you from hurting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me and I will acknowledge those who and I will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. I will whenever they call to me I will answer them. Whenever they are in trouble, I will I will be with them. I will rescue them, I will honor them, I will reward them with long life, I will save them. In my witty Okay, so I take an anason win to pass a desert sun, and I take an anella liquor sack of coal. On a kind of wicked sober, upon no winon rock and no combined one, no colour on a vacarabua. 
Ngisa na vakum balay kun din naman na nanatun din na tamat sa andong birinday kaya namatira sa andong itag. Ina vakurong yung kanalawin, iya ko na vakurong narok ni tamban. Ina namin sa sambay kung may vakurong nanalil din na. Ona sa yung dararawakan na kanyang dararawakan na boy, sa nangasawa yung bukawal na singa. Sa namat sa andong itag sa alakawal ay nang buto-buto. Sa nabukun ni bivak mati sa andong iya ay nasiliyo. Ina bala ay nanuntul ay lingay mawi, kati nuntul ay lingay mataw. Ia ena sing nato bi, kun rada walang ay matang, kakun yan ason ita mata, iwal wala ta. Nuksa ka, sanu gun ron ro kutsaw. Kusa wakang bat ka, natedir sa rami nung tikutik. Ena sing nato bi kun nakka, eno nakara, eno siyang talang toro bi ko. Toro mong bay, na mat san do bi ito bi. Ena bakurot, nina bakurot ina na anglo si kukuha na bukun, mer na maru ko, eno milak lok ket nga. Karena kebetik ko na lingan to, hindi sa tabu to, na ba ito kinabang mo? O nang buto ko na liwa ni kinangata loa? Na liwa po ko, kinangata o nang buto raksara. Ngayon sa luman ko, ko nang gaya bakang balik ko at kina. O nang baka tatarit ko, saras ko ko sa klan na ito. Er na teng na biyaw ko na ba kurung ko. O nang tigwat ka, anang natabu ko at kinararaw. O nang bakang balik ko, karun to kayo ko. Kau nak bawa kamu tu ke mana boleh nanti. Kau sabar kerja gua, nak sabar kamu boleh kau tiga. Nak. You who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I'll trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the error that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with the eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because he has made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall set his angel charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon a lion and a cobra, a young lion and a serpent you shall tremble underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I'll satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. For those who live in the shelter of the Most High, shall find rest in the shadow of the Almighty, for this I declare of the Lord. For he alone is my refuge and my place of safety, for he is my God and I'm trusting him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the faith of plenty. For he will shield you with his wings and shelter you with his feathers. For his faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. For a thousand fall by your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, for this evil will not touch you. But you will see it with your own eyes, you will see how the wicked punish. If you make the Lord a refuge, if you make the most high a shelter, no evil will conquer you and no plague will come near your dwelling. For he orders his angels to guide you and protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands from striking your foot on the stove. They will trap on down lines and poison the stake, crush down fierce lines and serpents under feet. The Lord says, I'll rescue those who love me. I'll protect those who trust in my name. And when they call on me, I'll answer. I'll be with them in troubles. I'll rescue them and honor them. I'll satisfy them with a long life and give them, give them my salvation. Thank you. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your right, and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, 
even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in under the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him I'll trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the floor and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you under His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flees by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall on your side, and ten thousand may fall on your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall see the reward of the wicked, because he has made the Lord, who is my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you and your dwellings. He shall give his angels to charge over you, and to keep you from all your ways. They shall bear you up, leash you, and dash you up your foot against a stone. They shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent, they shall tremble underfoot, because they have set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Amen, stay blessed, and God bless. He who dwells in the secret place of the Mosai, shall abide under the church of the mighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, and my fortress, my God, in him will trust. So he shall deliver you from the snow of the fall from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover with his feather, and the strength shall take refuge. His truth shall be your seal and buckler. He shall not be afraid to test by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor the dust tracks that deluge waste the noonday. A thousand may fall at the side, and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the word of you. Because he made the Lord who is in my refuge, even the most side the dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any black come near the dwelling. For he shall give his angels to charge away to keep him always. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you taste your foot against the stone. He shall tread upon the line the cobra, the hang line the serpent, he shall trample on the foot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the air that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. For you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up with their hands so that you will not set your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample on the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him and I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and I will honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen.
Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He shall be relieved from the snap of the fall and prayerless pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings, and you shall take refuge. His truth shall be a shield and a buckler. He shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that pass by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destructions that is wasted on day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. 
Only way the eyes shall be looked and see the reward of the wicked. Because of you and me, the Lord who is my refuge, even most high of dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. He shall give his angels to charge of you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample on the foot. He has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him and set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. God be my hands. Praise the Lord, Psalms 91, verse 1 to 16. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I'll trust. Surely shall deliver you from the snare of the fallen and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wing you shall take refuge. His truth shall be a shield and buckler. He shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the error that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that works in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste in one day. A thousand men follow your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the light and the cobra, the young light and serpent. You shall trample on the foot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. For he shall call upon me, I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will rescue you from the trap of the bird catcher, from the destructive pestilence. With His pinion He will cover you, and under His wing you shall seek refuge. His faithfulness will be a large shield and a protective wall. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the gloom, nor the destruction that ravages at midday. A thousand will fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but to you it will not come near. You will only see it with your eyes as you witness the punishment of the wicked, because you said, Jehovah is my refuge, you have made the most high your dwelling. No disaster will befall you, and no plague will come near your tent. For he will send his angel a command concerning you to guard you in all your way. They will carry you with their hands, so you will not strike your foot against a stone. On an lion and a cobra you tread, you tremble underfoot and mean the young lion and the big snake. God said, because he has affection for me, I'll rescue him. I'll protect him because he knows my name. He will call on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. I will rescue him and glorify him. I will satisfy him with a long life and I will cause him to see my act of salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, You are my defender and my protector, you are my God in my trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings, you will be safe in his care, his faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any danger at night, or sudden attack during the day, or plagues that strike in the dark, or evil that kills in the air. A thousand may fall down beside you, ten thousand all around you, but you will not be harmed. 
and we look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the most high your protector, and so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put his angel in charge of you to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hurting your feet on the stairs. You will travel down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me. I will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call unto me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long lives. I will save them. Thank you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will see of the Lord. He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fallen snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and on His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the air of the first by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most so your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For the Lord will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord. 
I'll rescue him, I'll protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He'll call upon me and I'll answer him. I'll be with him in trouble, I'll deliver him, I'll honor him. With long life, I'll satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Psalms 91-16 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the foolishness and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your seal and refuge. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys every day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but will not come near you. Only you have observed the eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high a dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your place. For he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you so will not strike your foot against the stone. You will turn on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the shepherd. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I'll rescue him, I'll protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He'll call on to me and I'll answer him. I'll be with him in trouble, I'll deliver him and honor him. With long life, I'll satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the Lord. Psalms chapter 91, verses 1 to 16. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, You are my defender and protector. You are my God in whom I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any danger at night or sudden attacks during the day, or the plague that strikes in the dark, or the evils that kill in the daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you, ten thousand all around you, but you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked have been punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the Most High your protector, and so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put his angels in charge of you to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hitting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me. I will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and I will honor them. I will reward them with long life. I will save them, giving back the glory and the honor to be his and his name. Praise the Lord, Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say that the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save me from the foulest night and the deadly pestilence. He'll cover me with his feathers and under his wings will find refuge. His faithfulness will be my shield and my refuge. Say the Lord is my refuge and make the most high your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near you. And he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. He will lift you up in their hands, you will not strike your foot against the stone. He will tread on the lion and the cobra, he will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide by the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowlers and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you shall find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will never fear the terror of night nor the arrows that fly by day nor the pestilence that stalk in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will never come near you. You will only look with your eyes to see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. 
No evil will be allowed to befall you, no plague to come near your tent. For he will command his angel concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on lions and adder, young lions and serpents you will tremble underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him and I will protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer to him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. And with long life, I will satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 91, 1-16. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You you will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. They will lift you up. They will lift you up in their hands, so you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will rescue him. I will protect him. And he, for he acknowledges my name. He will call unto me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hello, praise the Lord, everyone. Um, I was very encouraged by the Psalms 91 Youth Challenge that was going around, and I'd also like to share mine. Um, before I share the Bible verse, I'd just like to say that I've made the verse personal to my life, so every time the verse says you, I've replaced it with I. And um, that's how I've learnt to say it over my life. And that's what I wanted to let you know before I start. So, Psalms 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save me from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers and under his wings I will find refuge. His faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. I will not fear the terror of night, nor the eye that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but they will not come near me. I will only observe with my eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If I say the Lord is my refuge, and I make the most high my dwelling, no harm will overtake me, no disaster will come near my tent. For he will command his angels concerning me to guide me in all of my ways. They will lift me up in their hands so that I will not strike my foot against the stone. I will tread on the lion and the cobra. I will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call unto me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my great salvation. Psalms 91. Amen. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's challenge. Watch the full episodes on our Souls to Jesus Facebook page. I'll hand over to Athena for week two challenge. Over to you, bro. Thank you, Josh. I challenge all youth 20 years and under to say your Psalms 8 and 131 within one week. We have until Thursday, 14th of May. You can send your videos to our Facebook page at New Methodist or Instagram at New Methodist. Or why buy your videos to this number, 9766260.
Psalms 8, 1 to 9. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemy, that you may silence the, um, the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man which you have visited him? For you have made him little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea that passes through the path of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Psalms chapter 131 verse 1 to 3. Lord, my heart is not haunty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I concern myself great matters, nor things too profound, profound for me. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a wind child with his mother, like a wind child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. I challenge all youth, 20 years and under, to say your Psalms 8 and 131 within one week. We have until Thursday, 14th of May. You can send your videos to our Facebook page at New Methodist or Instagram at New Methodist. Or viber your videos to this number, 9766260. Non domina che ti conga buona calo in seminari qua. Bello che ti suona igual in lingua che venga. Non mi tavina bambota, non mi tavina calo da 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 mano. Whatever problem, financial problem or maybe sickness of any kind because miracle do happen. to eat up your crop and if I send sickness declaring your authority my people who are called by my name humble themselves pray seek my face turn away from their wicked ways I will hear from heaven I'll forgive their sin and I will heal the land to make a decision today because of power and forgiveness you ask yourself you want your marriage to work and that is the reason one of the solution of making your marriage work is to forgive